opportunities at Uber, how you can get a job at Uber, and I'm going to ask her, I'm mostly, I'm going to be answering your questions. Any questions you have related to, uh, related to career development, uh, in general, related to Uber, visas at Uber, engineering process, life at Uber, interview process at Uber, and so on. A uh, little bit about me. I graduated in high university in 2019. Computer um, computer science. Yeah. Now we are so CID, right? Yeah, School of Computer Science. Software. So, yeah, I graduated that school. Um, and you find, and I started working at Uber in 2020. Um, I've been making iOS applications, iPhone apps since 2017, almost five years now. Um, before that, I worked at Super Dispatch. How many of you have heard about Super Dispatch? Nice. And also, like right before Uber, I worked also at EPAM. How many of you have heard about EPAM? Almost everyone. Very good company. Um, they have office in Uzbekistan. Uh, yesterday I met the, the director of Uzbekistan branch, Rimai Kaftanov. They're expanding, they're developing. They're, they're a very good company. I strongly recommend going there. So, and even before that, my first job, my first official job was at Codecraft. How many of you have heard about Codecraft? Nice. So, the Codecraft, it was born here. It's a startup that teaches kids programming. Um, so, we were first in this bank in 2014 to teach kids programming. So, yeah. Um, my free time, I ride a motorcycle and I snowboard. Uh, and yeah, this is it. Also, by the way, I have a tech blog. It's called Tanx Engineer. You go to the Telegram, Tanx Engineer. Um, I write a lot of articles about how to get a job. Um, how I got you know, the referral, the referral, how to get a visa to the United States of America, and etc. and so on. All right, I'll move on. Uh, let, me tell, let me tell you about Uber. How many of you know Uber? Oh, almost everyone. So, what is Uber? What products do they have? What do they do? What products do they have? Taxi company. Delivery. Food delivery. Delivery company. What else? Like Yandex. Like Yandex. Alright. Awesome. So, yeah, thank you. So, Uber did start as a taxi company. In 2008, it was a premium taxi service that allowed you to order a taxi one, one by one on your phone. So it was only iPhone app, and it was only for premium uh, clients, and it was only in New York City. One by and taxi comes to you. 2008. Now, 14 years later, now Uber is the largest, is the largest mobility and delivery company on the planet. We are the largest mobility and delivery company on the planet. Uh, now with Uber, back then you, you can order on the taxi. Now you can order a taxi, you can order, rent scooters, bikes, you can order boats, public transport, you can rent cars. You can even order a helicopter. A helicopter. You can do that. And Hopefully, Elon, if Elon Musk's rockets become super cheap, super available, I know we can order rockets, maybe, who knows. So, that is, so I'm telling you, Uber is now much bigger than it used to be before. And we also now have, with the pandemic, we, uh, so with the pandemic, the, the mobility business dropped a lot. People were afraid to, to go outside and go places, so everybody stayed at home. So taxi companies, they lost a lot of money. They were on the edge of, of, of losing the business, going out of the business. So Uber shifted its focus entirely for the delivery while maintaining its green business. It added a lot of effort to shift a lot of engineering costs and etc. for the, for the uh, delivery business. And now, Uber is earning more money from delivery rather than a taxi, rather than mobility. So our annual run rate is $113 billion. So we, like 
tradition and you can get a you can get a visa sponsorship. Um, L requirements for L3 position is zero to one year of experience after graduation. So even if you graduated and it's been one year since you graduated, you can still apply for a new grad position, L3. But if you have, but if even one and a half years is okay, but if, if it has been two years, it's really case by case, but mostly they'll say no, apply for L4. So L4 is two to four years of industrial experience, two to four. L5 is five plus years of experience, and you will need also full uh, experience in leading team, leadership experience. So like, you got the project, you had it since you was a team leader, like tech lead, project leader. And everything else is not standard. Like there is no bullet, silver, uh, like, uh, silver bullet, like super, Concrete number for L6. Some have 20 years, some have 15 years, some have 10 years, some have 7 years of experience. It's not standard. Up to L5, if it's super standard, then it's not because those people, L6 and, and, and so on, they're genius. Real genius. Um, Alright, so we don't level in system. Once you graduate, um, you will be applying for a for L3 and higher L3 also. I'm gonna talk about the L3. I'm gonna talk about the interview process and L for L3 position. Interview process of L3 position is, so first of all, you apply. First of all, you apply. Um, there are multiple ways you can apply. You can find recruiters on LinkedIn and say, hey, uh, I'm interested in applying to Uber. Or you can go directly to the website and apply through the website. Or you can ask for referrals. Does anybody know what a referral is? Who knows what is a referral? Can you tell me what is a referral? Uh, when someone who worked for this company refers for the entire, how to say, Inter system, Internal and system. they can see firstly in the first, how to say, place. Yep. Yep. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you very much. Very good explanation. When someone can recommend you to the company uh, in which he works? Yep, yep, exactly. Awesome, thank you very much. So, referral is this amazing thing. So, when you apply to the website, let me explain you, let me open your eyes and tell you what happens behind the scenes. Let's say you apply to the website, you don't know what happens behind the scenes, right? I know, I have seen it, I'm going to tell you now. When you apply to the website, the recruiter is going to scan, like, through. Skin, skin, uh, you're gonna skim through the, like hundreds of applications for the specific for all position, right? So when you apply for a specific position, one recruiter is gonna screen those resumes for this specific position. Or you can apply, you can also apply to multiple positions, there's no way. You can apply to 10, 20, 30, 50, 100 positions at the root. And then they scan it and and then, they, if they consider you a good enough candidate based on your resume, they will invite you to the interview. So they're going to apply, go through the scanning, get invited to the interview. Referral helps you skip this scanning process. You go directly to the invited to the interview. All right? So what is the success rate when you apply to the company? In my case, when I was applying for, uh, when I was preparing for Uber, I applied to many other companies, Maybe like 20 each, and they got a response for like three, four of them. So let's say 50 percent. 50 percent. Uh, it can be less. It can be more. I'm just telling you what I. Have. But with referrals, it's 50 percent chance that the recruiter will reach out to you. They will call you or they'll email us. Hey, we are interested. Let's talk. But with referrals, it is 76 percent. 76 percent. Now before I move on, we're going to get the data. <coughs> I'm going to tell you what is referral. So referral is when someone who works at the company, as those gentlemen there said, um, when someone who works at the company gets your resume and applies for you in the internal system. We at Uber have an internal website that nobody on the internet can access, only us who work at Uber. And we can apply for you for that position using your resume. 
and give their add some notes. I can add some notes about you. For example, uh, what is your name? Delta. Delta. Alright, let's say I know Delta. He's a rock star and you like the belt. Yeah, it is. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Joe, a rock star Android developer, he wants to work at Uber because he got inspired by my speech. And now, he asks me if I can recommend him, if I can refer him to Uber. He doesn't apply to the website. It's important for me. Do not apply to the website. Otherwise, the girl won't work. So he doesn't apply to the website. He asks me to refer him. He gives me, hey, or, uh, like, uh, we met like two years ago or whatever, one year ago. And then, so right now, I do Google development. I'm interested in this position at Uber. He gives me a link for the position. And he gives me his resume. And I see him, all right, yeah, don't know, you're a rock star as a developer. I think you will be good fit for Uber. So I take his resume, I open an internal website, and apply for the position for him. I give him a referral, and I add some notes. Yeah, this is good. I think he will be a good fit for Uber because he completed projects at XYZ. He achieved results, like improved something by X percent. We did something like Y and etc. And once that happens, our recruiters, the, the people who apply for internal systems for referral get the priority over people who apply to the website. So it doesn't mean if you apply to the website you won't be, get seen, you will be seen, but people who apply for referral get the priority. And recruiter will see your resume, if everything is fine, they will not for you. Now, Let's go back. I told you the success rate for applying for referral is for applying for referral is 76%. Where did they get this data? Since I started working at Uber, over 100 people asked me to refer them to Uber. Over 100 people. How long did it work? A year or so? It means like two people every week, at least. At least two people every week. And they they are Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Armenia, Georgia, Azerbaijan, Russia, Ukraine, Belarus, United States, and etc. Like all of them. Uh, do I know all of them? No. I do not know all of them. Like, in fact, I know maybe five to ten of them. But the rest of them, I have never met in person. But I still refer them to Uber. Why? Uh, I don't refer random residents. I do my screening. I check people if they do lethal. You know what? Do you, do you know what is lethal? Yeah. Yes. I can write lethal forces, but you know, yes. Um, I, I checked that. Uh, my requirement is you should, you should have solved 40 million lethal problems. If you want to get a referral from 40, 40, 40. Oh, 40. 40 million, yes, yes. You know, 40, I can 40. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 40. Yeah, I can 40. And I'm just like, I have 41. <laughs> yes, you can. Um, you should apply. You should have 41 problems. At least to apply. <laughs> yeah. So I do my own screening and I refer to people. Now, I, I, I sit in many telegram groups of engineers who are preparing for tech companies. There are telegram groups that help people prepare for those interviews. For, uh, they, they, they'll share the interview series. Hey, I did an interview at Google. Here is, like, they negotiate, they do not share specific questions, the problems they did, but they're like, okay, there was five interviews, uh, and, like, in general, it was about their race, or in general, it was something about trees, and it, it's kind of motivating, it's good, like, community. So I, I sit there, and people, I left my contact data, and people reach out to me. They're like, hey, I found your contact here, here's my resume, here's my list. Out of that, of the hundreds of people, 76 got invited for the interview. 76% got invited for the interview. But I see all the problems. And 12 people, I think, in total, got offered. So they had the first interview, second interview, and the final interview, and then got an offer. It's pretty good. Um, yeah, so now we know what is referral, right? It's, if it is, I'm into this. <laughs> yeah. good but it's a good way, right? It's a good way. I'm not giving you a job. I'm just giving you a recommendation. It's your job to get your job. Yes. All right. So now we know like levels, engineering level, L2, L1, L2, L3, L4. You'll be applied for L3, L3 and higher. I probably, I don't know. 
And then now we know what is the referral system and what's the better way to apply. And let's talk about the actual inquiry process. How does it look like? So the inquiry process at Uber is for L3 and up, the math interns, not interns, the uh, actual full, full time engineers, full time health engineers. The interview process looks like this. So, so you apply, you you talk with you talk with recruiter. First they are calling you and say, hey, um, they'll ask you what uh, what are you looking for at Uber? Uh, why, why do you want, want to work at this company? And I don't know why they ask this question because the answer is always funny, like most of the time. <laughs> no, um, there, because all companies give the same money, so they pay very well all the companies. So like, it's more than that. You should like the product. Maybe maybe product inspires you. Maybe you like the team. Maybe um, maybe you're excited about the mission of the company, right? So for example, I don't like Facebook. I hate Facebook. They, they do bad things. They, they did Instagram. I mean, they didn't do Instagram, but they put a lot of ads into Instagram. And I hate ads. And they collect a lot of user data. There's a lot of unethical. I don't like Facebook. And then start from the contract in three years. Help engineer Facebook. <laughs> 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 so if that happens, remind me this time. If that happens, then we need to remind me this time. Um, and Uber. For example, I love the product. Why I chose Uber? Because I had multiple offers in my hand. Why I chose Uber was because it was during the pandemic in 2020, and the delivery business, actual delivery, super, super high, super high, super hot product. Everybody was focused on delivery. Even businesses that didn't have delivery, they started building delivery. So this is why I was like, oh wow, this is super hot market. I should do it. Um, yeah, so again, so you're going to have a call with your recruiter, and then it's not, it's not an injury, not an injury. They're just going to make sure you're not a fake person. A lot of bots from, I'm not going to say really from which country, but they do a lot of cheating. Yeah, there is a lot of fraud from a few countries uh, where people are pretend like people have, people apply using fake resume. Other people's resume. And like the first this first call goal is to make sure you are the person on the resume. So after that, if if you are a good fit for the role, so again, it's not an interview. After that, they'll send you an online assessment. So basically, uh, they'll send you a link to the code signal where you have to where you have to solve four problems or algorithm problems. On lead code, uh, same as lead code, hacker rank, and same thing. Middle class. Very good question. Uh, one easy, two to three middle. One to two to easy, two to three to middle. Maybe you will have hard. Mm. Maybe, maybe. But when I had mine, it was, uh, I think, one easy, two middle, and another one four. I solved only two. Mm. When I was preparing, I, I solved three, 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 three out of four. Three you out have four. to solve all of them, yep. Uh, yes, I mean, ideally you should I, yeah, try I to solve all of them, but even, even if you didn't solve all of them, it's okay. Because my resume was very strong, my experience was strong, so you come to the like, all right, you know, some algorithms, like, so he has strong experience, will invite me for the next round. But if you don't have much experience, this algorithm the problem, it has much more weight. You know what I mean? It means the less experience you have, uh, the more problems you should solve. You should try to three to four. Um, that's why you should practice on lead code. All right, so second step, again, online assessment. Once you pass online assessment, you get the results you need. Uh, I mean, you, you see the results immediately, but the recruiter will help you later. And if you pass, they schedule technical mock screening. So the technical mock screening is, when you have a one-on-one -on -one call with actual engineer from Uber, so for example, me, you can have a call with me. Uh, so let's say, what is your name? Asadbek. 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 Asadbek is a very awesome front-end engineer.
in here, right? Well, really? <laughs> There's like thousands. All right, so he is possibly the very strongest prompt in the meeting at the end. Uh, he passed the line assessment. Now he invited for the phone interview. It's going to be 45 minutes of uh, phone interview. I'm going to call on his phone number. I'm going to call him his phone number. Location doesn't matter. You can be in Uzbekistan, passing the report, position in America. That's what I did. For my first job. Yeah. For 45 minutes. Yeah, I was, I was staying here having a call with them. Uh, so it, it doesn't matter where you're located. Man. It, it can be over Zoom as well. Now it's, 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 it's happening through Zoom. So the engineer is going to call you and ask a few questions about your past experience, ask questions on your stack. They'll ask something on this content. So, like, tell me about like, how pension is. Tell me about. Tell me how you're going to implement pagination in this project, for example. Very important topic. Um, yeah, and then they're going to give you one to two problems, reasonable problems. Okay, easy, easy to medium level. Easy to medium level. It really depends on the engineer. It's my, every engineer has an option, has freedom to choose whatever problem they want. We have a general guidelines, like don't give hard, for example, in the first interview, but it doesn't mean I cannot. You know what I mean? It's up to me. In general, it's medium. I would say two mediums. For me, it was too easy. I don't know. Um, but for example, Google lost me hard problems from the very beginning. So, like, yeah, you're ready to do this for that. And then, once you solve those problems in 45 minutes, and again, in 45 minutes, it doesn't mean you have 45 minutes to solve those problems. Five minutes for introduction, 10 minutes for, five minutes for Q&A at the end, 10 minutes to explain, uh, to, they'll give you a question on your stack, so on mobile development, they'd like to ask for, uh, like something related to, to cable news on iOS. I cannot give you the actual question, but something like this, easily Google. And now you have 30 minutes for this. And in 30 minutes, you have to solve two problems, so it's 15 minutes per problem. So you're not just going to solve it, you're going to also, you also need to explain your solution. Yeah, again, apply for the web server referral, get contacted by a recruiter, online assessment, again, phone interview. Yeah, once you, once, you pass, once you finish your phone interview, I'm going to enter your piece of the feedback about you, send it to the recruiter. And if you pass, you move on to the next stage. It's called final round, it's called on site. On site interview. On site means like on site. Uh, who knows why those interviews are called on site? Because it appears. Uh, it, uh, it, conduct, it is conducted face to face and they call you to the company straight forward and you should go to the company and uh, pass the interview. Exactly, exactly. So before pandemic, the on-site, the final rounds of the inquiries were conducted at the office. So for example, even if you live in Uzbekistan, let's say you pass the interview for Uber in San Francisco office, Uber will give you a flight, it will pay for your flight ticket for San, to San Francisco. They'll fly, they will uh, pay for your hotel for two nights. So you will go there, see the office, talk to the people, talk to your future team, and see like and experience how, how it's going to uh, look like. Uh, after the pandemic, it, it's not happening anymore at any company. Maybe a few very small companies do this though, but big, major, big companies don't do it anymore. So they're like, oh, actually, we can do it through Zoom. Why do we have to spend a lot of money? Because uh, I, what, before, before I applied to Facebook, well, you just said you hate Facebook. Uh, yeah, to practice. Uh, and then I, I, yeah, yeah, let's call it to practice. <laughs> uh, then I got it. I passed the interviews, I got to the on-site, so they should have invited me for the, for the on-site. I should, should have gone to their uh, Mountain View office. Yeah, but I didn't go to this one. 
Again, yeah. The outside is three. You're gonna have uh, for L3, I think you're gonna have coding. So algorithm in three, you're gonna have it for sure. Least of problem. What is the least of problem? Um, coding in three. Coding in three will assess your skills on your specs. For example, for mobile developers, uh, companies like to give an actual project and already have a project, they ask you to download and open the project, and they ask you to do a code review, do a code review, find bugs, find issues, tell me about what you think about this application. Or they're gonna say, well, imagine this app was written by a junior engineer. Now, what do you think about this app? What do you think about this code? Do a code review. So that's what they're gonna say. Um, or they're gonna ask you to open a project, and yeah, or they're gonna ask you to open a brand new project and implement something from scratch. All right, here's the API, here's the link that provides the weather data in CD by giving by ID. I want you to build an app from scratch in 45 minutes that gets the weather data and shows it on the screen. And if you do it, I'll ask you the next thing. All right, now. Show me the list of the cities and let me allow me to choose the city and then show the weather by the city. So the more time you have, the more features they are gonna ask you to do. Coding interview. Third, um, behavioral interview. Uh, I don't know if L3 has it. It may not have it. L4 has it for sure. Two behavioral interviews. You have to have an interview with your manager and one is with your manager, one is like manager for other team or like director of engineering. And it's about your past experiences, like how you behave and how you manage your work. So for example, they can ask questions like, these are really good. Uh, tell me about your time you had a conflict in your team. How did you resolve it? Conflict doesn't mean like fight. <laughs> so it's, for example, it's a disagreement. So you want to go, okay, let's go this way. And the person says, no, no, let's go this way. And you're like, no, we should go this way. It's a conflict. You cannot agree on one thing, right? This is a conflict. Or they can ask questions like, tell me about the time when you had a deadline, but couldn't meet it. So tell me about the time when you couldn't meet the deadline. So they can ask this kind of thing. And like, why did you couldn't meet it? Right? What did you do to have the team? What did you do afterwards? Or tell me about the time uh, when you let the project, or let like project feature deliver something like this. This, uh, this is the question they ask. Again, one algorithm, one coding, um, two behavioral, maybe for L3, I do not know. Actually, I do, I think. I think, you, yeah, yeah, you're gonna have a behavioral, yes. And uh, you do not, you, you're not gonna have it, but uh, I think starting L4, they also, the fifth interview is a system design interview. System design interview is, it's more based on architecture and et cetera, so you give it like a screenshot, oh no, not a screenshot, sorry, I forget about it. Uh, you give it like a problem, extra problem, and you're tasking, your, your task is to develop a design like this, right? You don't have to go there, just explain how it works. So for example, um, I'm going to ask him like a question like um, design an Uber app. What? So you have to explain how you're going to get, like, how, what kind of data you're going to get, whether it's user location data, like driver data, how you're going to send this data, what data exactly you're going to use, how you're going to use the location services, and et cetera, and so on. So how are you going to optimize for speed, for accuracy? A lot of things. Or design an Instagram, for example. Design a chat app. And you have to explain all this. A lot of examples on the internet. Okay, so, and this is it. Once you pass the on site interview, you get your offer. Oh, actually, you, you will receive an offer from Uber. And then you can negotiate. Yes, you can negotiate. You should negotiate. You are expected to negotiate. Uh, so, for example, if you go to my blog, 10X Engineer, I wrote an article.
article on one negotiation book. And there I mentioned that when I was running Uber, I negotiated my compensation and I added $25,000 more. You know, like, imagine you do one phone call and you get $25,000. How cool is this? Like, probably, I, 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 if, if you go to the kids all the time, I would go make phone calls. Um, yes, you can, you can negotiate your compensation just like that. And there are like cases where you can negotiate more and more and more. Uh, it's another topic, so yeah, go check out my blog. And then, yeah, well, if you decide to join the group, sign up and join the company like me. Uh, let's wrap up. So here's how it works. You apply. I suggest applying for referrals to improve your chances. You pass online assessment. I suggest preparing solving neutral problems to get the first. And then, so the online assessment is an interview, then one interview, then on site, five interviews. For L3, I think four or three interviews. So in total, for L4, for me it was seven interviews. For L3, it's going to be much less, at least six or five interviews. And yeah, this is it. And now, a few tips on preparation. Now, I'm going to talk about tips on preparation for coming over here. Um, there is a very good book, it's called Cracking Coding Skills. Also? Cracking the Coding Skills. Cracking, yeah, Cracking Coding Interview. CTCI. CTCI. So if you search for that book on the internet and hopefully buy it, yeah. I know how, how things work here. Um, you, you, uh, it, it's very well structured. I personally prepared by that book. All right, so I can vote for, for it. Very good. Uh, it has very well structured, a lot of uh, advice. Another thing I advise is join uh, communities that prepare for the interviews so that you can ask questions, etc. In a Telegram, I think it's called interviews call underscore KZ, because connect connects them, KZ, interviews call underscore KZ, I think. The web, web is a page, yes? It is a Telegram you know, group, group, like 2,000 members. By, by Adidas, yes? By what? What created by Adidas? This group. Adidas? Yes. <laughs> He's a... Oh, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, that one, yep, uh, yep, that one. Um, also, another, we also have a group called Fang Interview. Um, I'm, in, I'm in there. It's called Fang underscore interview. What? Which? I'm, I'm not active there anymore. So I do not know, it, it, it is a Ukrainian group, so I do not know if it is still posting relevant content. It's not active, because since the situation in Ukraine, they send only about... Okay, yeah, so, yeah, I'm not, I'm not there. Like, I haven't been active for the last six months or more, so I don't know if they're still posting relevant content. But it was a very, very good community. Like I, I got my job because of that. Very good. Website? No, no, the Telegram. 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 I'm told, talking about only Telegram groups, no website. Mm -hmm. And the third advice would be, so she said we'll join Telegram groups. The third advice would be, do mock interviews. So who knows what is mock interviews? It's like simulation. Yep, 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 simulation. So what is your name? Samobe. 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 What is your name? Abdul Bari. Abdul Bari. All right. Let's say Abdul Bari and Samobe. Samobe are amazing software engineers who want to join Uber and say it. Okay. Right. So now uh, Samobe and Abdul Bari want to join Uber and they prepare for the interview. So what they're going to do is. So, some of it is going to learn one problem very well, all different solutions. You can search all different solutions on the internet and learn it very well. Learn the complexity, different algorithms, different ways to solve it. And then interview Abdul 
Dubori asked this question, Dubori, the third thing. And now Dubori is going to solve this problem and explain his thought process to some of it. Then they're going to switch. After 30 minutes, they're going to switch. Abdul Bari is going to ask someone big a question that he learned very well. All possible solutions. So this is called mock interview. I interview you, you interview me. That's it. Uh, when I was preparing for Uber, not for Uber, like in general, in, uh, I, I did like 50-ish mock interviews, 5-0. I know people who did like hundreds of them. I know people who did 200 of them. It's a very, very useful practice. All right, with that said, I'm going to wrap, wrap up uh, here. And I will, uh, I'm going to uh, answer like any, any questions you have. Yes? So what's your name? Oh, what's your name? My name is Justin Bay. <laughs> Justin Bay.
so what are the most important advices that you can give for the freshness or assistance to the university? I mean, the garbage generation. You already talk freshman students. Why do you need a password for a girl? Yeah. Um, for example, uh, to focus on studies at university or for pursuing portfolio or something like that. The most important. So I'll first. To, I, I'll tell you what I did at university, and you you decide what you do. What I did was the first few years I, I was focusing on uh, studies and then actually Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, good plan, good plan. So I was working part time at Codecraft while I was studying at Tina, but I also I I, I liked it, but I also had to because I didn't have money to pay for my studies. I had no money. I didn't have rich parents. So I had to work at, at Codecraft, teach kids programming, and learn money to pay for my tuition. Um, and then, after two years, I, I understood that I got a lot of skills from that job of teaching, like public speaking. And I'm doing good things like that. I learned it there. But I wasn't doing the, my major. Like my major was computer scientist. Computer science engineer. I wasn't doing any engineering. I wasn't making any apps. I wasn't. I was making apps on my own, but not on a professional level. So I, I decided like, to go to some engineering. So I found an internship at Super Dispatch. I did a six months unpaid internship at Super Dispatch. Six months for free. And it is okay to work for free at the beginning, but not once you're junior engineer. Once you're junior engineer. And then, yeah, I, I was working, when I was third and fourth grade, I was working at, at Super Dispatch. Uh, at third grade, I was part-time. On the fourth grade, I was full-time. You may ask me how, because I was studying here. Um, I worked 34 hours, and I tried to optimize my schedule at the university, because I know sometimes you can have class in the morning, and class in the evening, but and space in the middle. So I tried out my spaces, like, Schedule. I tried to talk to professors if I can attend those classes in other time. So that like Monday, Tuesday, I study, and then I have full days, full free days, or I study in the morning only, and then I go to my job, or I study only on the evening only, and in the morning I do my job. Things like that. So I, I really up to my. I, I did few hacky things too. I do not talk about that now, but I did few hacks as well. Legal. <laughs> So can you get offer reading text and what is it? All right, uh, what is your name? Rustam. Rustam is like, you don't know you, how? <laughs> We've talked so many times. Uh, all right, Rustam. It, 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 doesn't, it doesn't matter where you're located. Okay. I mean, let me, let me think about it. I think about it. Countries where you cannot get it. So, short answer is you can't, it doesn't matter where you're located. If you're applying for full time position, you get it anywhere. Uh, let me think about it when you cannot get it. 